Praise to the name of the Most High God. My good name is Dedan Erude Obong or Papa Obong. I'm a born again Christian. I'm an evangelist and um, I really enjoy uh, doing what I do for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na leo na feel too kwa kwa spirit ya ku encourage somebody out there mwenye amekuwa wait God for a long time na maybe anaona God amskizi God akuji na mwingine amekuwa aki, aki try in in many ways to manifest the glory of God uh, but uh, amekuwa tu mocked na na believers wanamuuliza huyu Mungu wako unaomba kila siku wako wapi and and things like that na Before I read the word for today and share this story it's an amazing story in Mashinda Niki meditate from Jana Juzi uh, I believe it's important, important if we can start with the word of prayer Our Father we thank you for this wonderful session we thank you for this wonderful service may it be a blessing to our soul out there may it rejuvenate empower educate and give hope to somebody out there in Jesus name we do pray and believe amen amen now there is a very interesting character in the book of John chapter 5 now maybe we can learn two or three things from this man uh it's in the book of John chapter 5 after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida having five porches kulikuwa na pool inaitwa Bethsaida na ilikuwa na njia tano za kuingia kwa hiyo pool five porches in this lay a great multitude of important folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at certain season into the pool and troubled the water whatsoever that first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had now wanasema there used to be a pool called Bethsaida and this pool malaika alikuwa anaitembelea mara moja na akiitembelea mtu atapona ni mmoja out of this great multitude mtu atapona ni mmoja <laughs> eh? just one person oh my god oh my god and a certain man there was which had an infirmity 38 years when jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him will them be made whole do you want to be made whole 38 years a condition of 38 years and you are still hopeful one thing about that this man he was still hopeful he was still by the pool hoping that one day he had faith that one day I'll, God will meet me at the point of my needs. Now, the impotent man answered him, "Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming another stepeth down before me." So alikuwa anaambia Christ, "Mimi sina mtu wa kuniingiza hapa juu." Sa, sa malaika amekuja, na sa zile niko karibu kuingia mtu mwingine anakuja anaingia mbele yangu but he was still there hoping that one day god will meet him at his point of need jesus said unto him rise take up thy bed and walk jesus said rise take up thy bed and walk and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was the sabbath how glorious how awesome first Jesus akumwa Jesus alibreak hii tradition ya kuingia kwa pool. Ambia manzewe umeget up and walk. 
you are already made whole so sa zingine pia tunaweza kuwa tunangojea Mungu unadhani ya God atakam kawaida but you need to not limit God umse akwa ingia kwa pool but healing yake pia haikutoka through kuingia kwa pool healing yake ilikuwa na malaika ilikuwa na Jesus Christ himself Jesus Christ himself na ni important sana tusiwahi limit God but it's also important to be expectant sorry guys just a little distraction here so yeah manze umse alikuwa expectant that one day you will get healed na ni poa uko expectant never lose your expectation from god expect a miracle from god expect god to bless you expect god to do something don't faint don't give up don't say don't 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 tire just be expectant christ alipata umse karibu na pool hoping that one day atafika mbele ya kila mtu una understand now another thing god may not come the way you perceive god's miracles have many ways to locate you maybe wewe unaona gai job nafanya ndio ndapatiwa promotion na boss wangu ani baie kagari ni kwa manager kwa hii kampuni god's ways are not limited they are broad maybe wewe unadhania manze who them na date ndio ntamari who told you you don't even know who you will marry you just keep on trusting god keep on trusting god for a godly marriage huh? for a godly marriage he may not come maybe ono check eh who dem anaweza nini eh but maybe she is not the one but whoever god will bring your way she is the, the one and god knows better you understand um god word is yes and amen when the fullness of time imefika miracle ina happen instantly the bible says and jesus said unto him rise and take up thy bed and walk and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walk and on the same day was the sabbath fast christ am broke am break protocol on sabbath majiwa wako wanafanya miracle it was a holy day they believed hakuna kazi mingi second miracle inafanyika immediate uh the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is sabbath day it is not lawful for thee for thee to carry thy bed huh he answered them he that made me whole the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk God akiku bless Don't listen to naysayers Run with the blessing and don't stop glorifying God This man didn't deny Jesus because ana Joam say amenitoa kwa shame ya 38 years He didn't deny Jesus He praised the Lord I hope this word you make part your hope it doesn't matter your condition it doesn't matter your situation whatever you are going through in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the book of John chapter 6 if not 7 Jesus anasema whatever you ask in my name it will be given unto you whatever you ask 
on my name it will be given unto you huh? now i command in the name of jesus that whatever situation you are going through be it disease be it sickness and diseases be it finances financial problem be it delayment be it stagnation whatever in jesus name may a miracle locate you may you be delivered in the name of jesus whatever this situation you are going through amen god bless you i love you so much hope kuna mtu amelearn kitu hapo na we will continue with our series tomorrow i have a lot sometimes i have a lot to share but i don't i don't you know it's different when we share when you when you record a message and when you are preaching a message they are two different things but in me god has taught me a lot and will continue sharing preaching and reaching out to the world for his glory god bless you i love you there is no one like you on this earth you are unique and fearfully and wonderfully made you are created uniquely hakuna mseka wewe so that fact only should make you thank god and glorify god and also desire to know what is your unique mandate on this earth for that reason only for you just being there'll never be another dead and rude or bone and that makes me a success according to my work and my journey whatever will happen in my life i'm a success story because my story is unique the same with your story is unique there'll never be another you there ne- will never be another you god bless you